Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Thank you so much for joining us today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the new Google Sites, and we're going to show you how to create a blog or add comments to your website pages. So please stick around for the end of the video. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and of course, tell everybody that you learned today from the TeacherCast Educational Broadcasting Network. So here we are in the new Google Sites. And one of the things that people have asked me about is how do I make a blog? How do I get my kids writing using Google Sites? Another question people have asked is how do I create a page where I can add comments to the bottom? Well, today we're going to learn one method that can be used to answer both of those questions. So I'm going to click over here onto this page called How to Add Comments or a Blog. Now, the tool that we're going to be using is Padlet. Padlet is one of my favorite tools to recommend to teachers. There's so many things that we can do with Padlet. Of course, to get to Padlet, we're going to click on Padlet.com, and that's going to open up a brand new Padlet. Now, many people think of Padlet, and they think of having a canvas such as this, and then when they click anywhere on the canvas, they can add a title, and then they can write a message. Now, that is awesome, right? And, 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 and many teachers are using that. We also know that on Padlet, you can do other things, like you can add a link to TeacherCast. And it pops right up there. So the one thing that we want to do here is we want to put this into our new Google Sites. In order to do that, we're going to click up here on the Share button, and we're going to check our privacy settings. Now, there's a few different privacy settings for our Padlet. We can leave it private, which means only us can see it. We can make it password protected, which means that somebody can see it only if they have that password. And then we have the two options here that we're going to discuss, secret and public. Essentially, secret is anybody who's on the page or has the link can access this Padlet. And then public is, of course, it's shareable. What we want to do today is we want to keep it secret, meaning nobody can find it except for those on our website. And then we're going to say those with access can. And we have can read, which means it's very passive. You can look at it, but nothing can happen. We have can write, which means I am responsible for my posts, but I can't do anything with other people. Or we have can moderate, which means I can view and add posts, and I can edit and approve other posts. Now, because I'm dealing with students in this situation, I'm going to say can write. And even if you're using Padlet on your own website, I would probably recommend the can write feature. So I'm going to make sure that I have it here and I'm going to make sure that I hit save. Now, now that that's done, I'm going to click over here under share, export, or embed. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link to this Padlet. But you can see there's many more options here. So I'm going to hit copy link to Padlet and I'm going to come over here onto my website. And all I'm going to do is click on insert, embed, paste this link. And here I've got two options. I can embed the whole page or just a preview. Preview just means it's going to put a graphic on it, and I'm going to link out to Padlet. Whole page is going to give me an embed of this Padlet. So I'm going to click on whole page, click on insert, and here you see we have our Padlet. If I click on the preview window, that's going to open up this Padlet, and if I double click on here, I can type anything that I want to. Pretty simple and pretty easy, but now you're saying, Jeff, that doesn't look like a blog. That doesn't look like a comment section. Well, let's take a look. I'm going to exit out of here and pop back into Padlet. If I close this, I'm going to click over on the three dots. And down here, we're going to change the format. Padlet has so many different things that it can do. We can have a wall, a stream, a grid, a shelf, or a back channel. Now, we had talked about creating a blog for our website, and that's going to be the stream. As soon as I click on stream, it takes all of our content and centers it on the page in reverse chronological order. If I want to add something to it, I can click on the pencil down here. I can title it My Favorite Drawing. And over here, I'm going to open up all of these new functions and features to it. In fact, I'm going to create a drawing right now. I'm going to put a big TC there for TeacherCast. 
I'm going to save this drawing. Only takes a couple seconds. And so now you can see my students can very quickly create a blog roll. So I can say my summer vacation and I can have the kids write about their summer vacation. Pretty neat stuff. In addition to that, if I wanted to, I can come over here to modify and I'm going to drop all the way down here to some of these options. I'm going to click on the comments option here. And what that's going to do is that's going to actually add a comment section. So in other words, my students can now write their blog post and we can have comments on here. So that's how we practice our digital citizenship. In addition to that, I can also add reactions. My likes, my voting, my stars, my grade. I'm going to click on voting, hit save, and now somebody can come over here. And not only do I have all this information here, I can click it as a thumbs up, click it as a thumbs down, or I can add this is awesome, right? So now how does that look? If I come back over here, the embed is already there. All I have to do is hit Control or Command R to refresh it, and it automatically updates the Padlet. And again, when I click on the preview, here is my blog roll. I can create an entire page of blogs using Padlet. This is amazing. And for any Google school, this is a game changer. But I want to throw one more option in here. You see, if I come down here to the three dots and I hit change format, I'm now going to change this into a back channel. So this is a great place for adding comments. Now you'll see all of my posts have come over here onto the right side. If I was working with other people, their comments would come on the left side. So in other words, you have this dialogue back and forth. Now instead of the plus sign on the bottom right, I can now say something here. So now if I hit the post button, I now have my comments. Again, if I refresh over here onto my new Google site, you can see that this has been updated and everything looks good. So there's many ways that we can use Padlet and Google Sites together. I hope this has inspired you to check out Padlet. You can sign up for a free account. You can find everything over here on teachercast.net forward slash Google Sites demo. That's teachercast.net slash Google Sites demo. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment below. And of course, find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. Until next time, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.